Co. My name is Mary Shepherd. I'm 71 years old, 5'2", 135 pounds. I reside in, the, in Union County, Illinois. Okay. On September 28th, 2009, at approximately 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I was sitting at my desk at the First Baptist Church in Anna, Illinois, where I was the church treasurer and sometimes secretary. I was approached by a man, six feet tall, six three, 245 pounds. And to this day, we don't know how I got into the church, but he was into the came into the church and proceeded to beat me. At this time, there was only uh, another lady was in the church. She was a female custodian, and the pastor was in his office when all this transpired. At about five or three in the afternoon, the other lady came in. She says, Bye, Mary. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going home now. And that is the last thing I know until 3.30 in the afternoon, same afternoon, when I come to on the floor. The other lady involved in this, this uh, assault was about 84 years old, and she uh, cleaned the church. She was just on her way out the door when she was attacked. The six foot three, 245 pound man used his fist and his feet to beat us, me and my co-worker, savagely around the head and face. Uh, it stomped on me, picked me up by my arm and swung me around and hit me a few more times and left both of us for dead. And then he called me and walked out of the church. This beating did not have to happen. Did not have to happen to me or my co-worker. I, I'm very qualified to protect myself. I qualified, I've taken five different hand firearms training classes. I qualified and two different states for a license to carry. This li the license to carry is honored by 31 other states, but I cannot carry in the state of Illinois. I think that every woman has the right to be able to protect herself. On September 28, 2009, my life changed forever. I was beaten and savagely beaten and left for dead. I had four skull fractures, a concussion, uh, both cheekbones was fractured. I've had two new sets of dentures I had to have. I lost hearing in my left ear, the constant ringing in my left ear. Uh, I also have severe headaches because of the skull fractures. My, uh, I've had to have three new discs put in my spine, and one has a, the fourth one has a screw. I just recently had shoulder surgery, a result of the speeding, where I had two torn rotor cups. Uh, the clavicle was messed, had, was injured, I had to have it, uh, some work done on it, and I had massive, um, Surgery on the, the portion of my arm between the elbow and the shoulder had to be reconstructed. Since 
this happened in late September. My life has completely changed. I've not been allowed to drive. I've been in and out of doctors and hospitals since then. I've had surgery after another. I've had physical therapy. Um, it's been a long, drawn-out thing that didn't have to happen. Okay. If you are a state legislator, and you're watching this video, I strongly urge you to, to vote in favor of passing this bill for the concealed carry in the state of Illinois, that every woman will have the right, not only women, but men too, would have the right to protect themselves. I would not want to have another person go through what I've gone through in the last year and a half because I did not have this right. 48 states has given the concealed carry permit to people to protect themselves. I think Illinois should pass it and bring us up to date with the rest of the states. Let's get in the 20th century and pass this bill.